Virgo, welcome to your end of February 2021 general tarot update. It's Raina here. Well, this is literally the end of February, so for once I'm right on time, but I usually do these earlier. Uh, there's going to be a full moon in your sign, Virgo, and this is occurring on the 27th where I live. I'm in the USA, so I don't know uh, what time it is, and I don't know if it's going to be some other date for some of you but it's all good it's in that time frame and um, this is a time to look at how your life is going right now usually when we have the full moon we're being made aware of things you know full moons can bring relationship issues to the forefront because you have the first house of the self with your sign and then that means that the seventh house has um, Pisces and in the same degree and so that opposition oppositions can be uh, situations where the person is seeing themselves in the light of somebody else so what this can entail is if you have been I was going to say the typical Virgo I don't want to get into trouble but Virgo is a sign that is very much service oriented even in relationships a Virgo person wants to help their partner be, you know, there's that term helpmate and there's nothing wrong with that. The only thing that you have to realize is that people also have to want to help themselves. And sometimes you might find that you're doing helping over and over and over again, and that veers into the area of enabling. And so some of these things may come into um, your reality when you're dealing with issues of, of what another person is not doing for themselves and how you're sacrificing from it because this is your full moon so it's like bringing realizations uh, about yourself and ultimately I feel like these realizations have to be things that you're you're not characterizing them as somebody else's uh, fault, but you're saying, what am I doing? So you're, it's like kind of being so enlightened about yourself. It could just be some kind of an ending, um, of some sort as well of something that's going on in your life. So let's see what the cards say. It's funny that I got all these major arcana cards. 50%. Not a bad average. Okay. So the heart of the matter is new love. And this new love can be coming out of something that has been um, disappointing for you. Let's bring in this card, the five of cups. This can be everything from grieving the loss of somebody who passed away to, um, you know, having a disappointment in another relationship. And yet there's a relationship that is, um, coming into some kind of fruition. I mean, that could be with the full moon, something that is happening and even though these two um, planets, the sun and the moon, are opposing each other, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily like impossible for you to have relationship mojo. You might, you might have that because I see the Ace of Cups as perhaps being something that um, has freed you into being able to invite love into your life whether you have somebody waiting in the wings or not is not important um to me ultimately this is a card of being open or making space for new love in your life and another ace this is the higher message is the ace of swords now that's going to be on the mental plane so this is about 
to me, um, I see this card as really becoming um, clear on something to be able to move forward in your life. So a lot of times when I see this card, I feel like it's showing that perhaps in the past there was a little bit of um, illusion and it has been dispelled. If like, for instance, if some, if you're in a relationship with somebody and they are lying to you and you know, this full moon, even though this, this is going to be in your first house. So it's more of your revelation about yourself. If, if the full moon is in the, the seventh house, it could be a revelation about the other party, but this can be about yourself, but it can still be in the realm of, um, some kind of secret coming out that's irrefutable that you realize, wow, I was lying to myself the whole time. And in that case, you're not going to be, I don't think you're going to be very, um, upset about it because you might feel at peace knowing the truth finally, because you already kind of sort of knew it and you just were ignoring what was happening. And so there can be that sense of resolution sometimes that makes it a lot more, uh, acceptable. Do you notice how the light is, you know, against that wall on the left? Um, I'm recording this, I think it's around close to five o'clock. You know, the sun is getting stronger now, now that it's late February. And it's just kind of like wild how it's just happening to, to, to show up like that. Also illuminating my candle. So yeah, so these kinds of things, uh, and you know, it doesn't have to be a romantic situation. This can even be like, um, I can see like with the Ace of Swords, anything like if you were on the job and, uh, you, you were believing lies told over and over again, because you wanted to believe that it's true because it's, it made you feel comfortable this can indicate that you are uh, coming out of that, that sense of um, self-imposed delusion, delusions, and now you're able to maybe start your own business. And maybe it's going to be something that is heartfelt with the uh, Ace of Cups rather than something that um, you're doing for somebody else. So sometimes these things happen and we think, oh my gosh, you know, how am I ever going to, you know, feel good about what I do? And you realize that you've got something better uh, happening and that it was meant to be. So what crosses you is represented by the um, hangman. And this is a card of kind of um, hanging out and feeling this sense of maybe, uh, I wouldn't say inertia, but maybe it's like a transition from one uh, phase of life to another um, and or a cycle in life. It doesn't have to be like a major cycle. But if, for instance, you have come from a uh, long-term relationship, especially where you devoted a long time to somebody, then it, then obviously it is that, that kind of uh, big transition. However, I think what this card is suggesting is that in some cases, the person may be uh, in need of going into that next phase with the Ace of Cups. Maybe somebody is showing interest in you and you are still feeling upset about somebody else. And, you know, I'm one of those people, I think that you, you have to give things time. I don't think that I'm not one of those people that say, oh yeah, just jump into something new. No, but if it has been a long time and you, you are really kind of needlessly uh, clinging to an old relationship that probably isn't good for you. I mean, you know, in some cases it's probably not good for you. Then 
it, you might be letting go of or, you know, avoiding somebody that could be the one and, you know, right under your nose and you're not even seeing that person. And, um, another thing too, is that if you have been wanting to start a business, um, I want to say that March is a great time for that, especially from mid month on going into April. And you may be putting something off because, you are taking care of other people in some way. So uh, this is a card that can indicate needless sacrifice. Something that you're doing, you're sacrificing your own good and you're not doing it for anything that's there to benefit yourself or others. So, you know, really think about moving forward and what that means to you. March can be this great time. I'm going to be doing March tarot readings very shortly because I kind of got backed up. Um, and so I have to do those as well. And so we'll see what March says, but also if I, 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 I need to do some of my astrology readings for March, you see what it says for your sign. If I've done yours, I don't know. Um, because that can also give you a hint about what the themes will be for March. What's coming in is the Emperor card. I like to see this card in a reading where somebody is going through transition because it can feel like there's law and order in their life in terms of, you know, um, feeling in control of things. You know, that's one of the reasons people don't like changes. They feel like everything is happening too fast. So this can just simply be that you have this resolute desire to be more in charge of things in your life. And that kind of thing I feel is very helpful in making you uh, much more Feeling on top of things and not feeling like you're going to be um, manipulated by someone. Uh, because if that Five of Cups is somebody who left you in the lurch in some way, and typically I would think of somebody rejecting the other party or just disappointing them by, you know, not committing to, to, to them. One of the ways that we give away power is by acting like if somebody does that, like it's the uh, end of the world and like it's so horrible because really, if you think about it, if you, if you had this true belief that you were fabulous, then you would be like, hey, it's their loss. But a lot of times people are thinking that it's some kind of a making a statement against them and their lovability, their desirability. And I think a lot of times it just takes flipping the script. Now I know that we have emotions and it's easy for me to say it <laughs> in this moment, but I still think that people buy into these kinds of uh, experiences as rejection. And the same thing applies too for like any kind of work-related matter. If you, if the five of cups for your work is disappointment that you didn't get a certain uh, promotion or assignment, you know, if that's the kind of thing that happens at your place of employment, you know, obviously you have feelings and you might just be disappointed about it, but it doesn't say anything about you. And it might be, you know, telling you that it's time to move on. Ace of Swords can be success that comes from very challenging circumstances, by the way. And the outcome to me is kind of like also you know, related to that emperor card, the strength card, which is associated with Leo. And the emperor, by the way, is associated with Aries. So this can be a card of, um, you know, 
these kinds of situations making you stronger, making you more resilient because you can see how uh, these situations arise and how you can bounce back, how nothing is the end of the world, that you can simply choose to move in a different direction, choose to make different choices, even if you love what you do, even if you uh, care for a certain person and it doesn't work out, you don't have to stop caring for that person, but you can still move on. You know, you can find that space that allows you to do that. And it starts with self-love. And I think that the strength card really is about building your inner defenses. Not defensiveness, defenses where you feel um, so good about yourself that these kinds of things might still be disappointing, but they don't. Uh, send you in, uh, into a downward spiral, that they just simply exist as, you know, part of uh, your life story, but not the, um, the point where everything fell apart. The strength card can show you what you're made out of. Um, a Leo person could be featured since it is connected to Leo. And even timing wise, so I have both of these cards are fire energies, the emperor and so Aries and Leo. And whether they are people that help you, people that um, are that have your back, fire signs, or simply timing. The, um, the emperor, you know, is associated with uh, Aries, so... That time of the astrological new year when the sun goes into Aries is March 20th. Uh, with Leo, it can be just, um, that's another, you know, in your particular chart, Leo is Virgo. Leo is your 12th house. So um, that can be, you know, it depends on what kind of work you're doing. But if you are with the Ace of Cups, can be healing arts and I could see some Virgos going from nursing or physical therapy into uh, Reiki healing and shamanic healing very easily as you uh, raise your consciousness and then you see you know what it is that healing means to you how it changes so um I think that you emerge from February a stronger person. So I hope that this resonates because, you know, with the, with the five of cups, that sense of, um, loss, that always is, is a, you know, it triggers that sense of lack consciousness. If somebody loses their job, it makes sense that they're going to start to go, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I don't have any money coming in. What am I going to do? So Going from that to feeling a sense of strength is a really great thing. Um, so anyway, I hope that you, and maybe that will happen during that, uh, you know, mid-March or third week in March onwards. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you would like a private reading, I'm primarily an astrologer of Virgo. I have my moon in Virgo. I have Uranus and Pluto in Virgo, outer planets. Uh, you can check uh, the link below uh, to see the type of readings. Click on that uh, that I offer. I'm at rainamoonastrology.com. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.